Hey guys, it's Tara Bettis. I'm doing a holiday reading for all the zodiac signs. I'm going through the zodiac all the way from Aries to Pisces. I may get a little lost in the interim, so if I get them in the wrong order, don't hate. <laughs> um, if you notice, I have a bunch of stuff here. Um, I wanted to share with you guys all the cool Christmas stuff I got from my students today. And you notice, ain't not none of it liquor. Come on, people. <laughs> or even wine, wine. I mean, people know that teachers and wine, I mean, don't they know that's synonymous? I mean, come on, come on. I mean, it's all right, I got my own liquor. I don't need yours, but still. Um, I'm serious, like, you could do it hush hush if you want, but give teachers liquor. <laughs> Unless they're Church of Christ or somebody else who doesn't drink. All right, so one of the things I got was, I'm a teacher, what's your superpower? I have a shirt like this. And then uh, some calming bath tea, chamomile, lavender, um, some Calgon beads, uh, Hawaiian ginger. Oh, it's going to smell good. Now, I got some peanut butter bears. Um, I took them out and I shared them, so I'm not going to eat all that chocolate. Are you kidding me? Plus, I'm not really a fan of peanut butter. And then one of my kids, sweet, uh, gave me one of their old Christmas ornaments. Um, you can tell it's been discolored. They just like to give me stuff. <laughs> and then this had candy in it. Little bitty stocking. It's so cute. It had candy in it. And then one of my kids, he knows what's up. Got a Star Wars trooper. So. Oh, it's blown glass from Hallmark. Ooh. That's why I kept saying, ah. You can't drop it. You can't drop it. <laughs> He's wearing Star Wars PJs today, but he knows what's up. He's got... He's uh, in the loop. <laughs> I don't know how he knows I like Star Wars. Okay. Toasted sugar. Okay, that's not too bad. Morning glory. <laughs> that sounds naughty. Hmm, it smells like... I don't know, crushed flowers, maybe? You know what it makes me think of? Uh, forgiveness is the scent. The violet leaves on the heel that crushed it. And then, this came with another pair, but I'm wearing them right now. But you guys need to know this. I'm totally Santa's fucking favorite. Okay. And then one of my kids got me this. <laughs> and the kid who got me this, gonna be on this list. <laughs> Oh, and I also got Calgon pasta. Yeah, these went together. Yeah, these went together with a little loofah, but I'm not going to show you guys a loofah. I almost think I sneak. <laughs> oh, that smells good. I love smell good stuff. No, they don't think I stink. In fact, <laughs> several kids say, yo, Miss So-and-so, uh, your fingerprints taste good. I'm like, what? Like, yeah, like, you always smell like flowers and your fingerprints taste good. And I was like, and one of the girls in my other class was like, creepy. Because <laughs> uh, this was a girl who said this other thing. And I was like, um, okay, you're starting to creep me out a little bit. Yeah, what do you mean? She's like, well, I touched something you touched and then I sucked my thumb because I suck my thumb. <laughs> uh, this is a third grader, by the way. Ah. <laughs> oh. So apparently my finger <laughs> oh, the precious. <laughs> okay. Um I gotta stop laughing like a jolly person. Um so I got two Christmas ornaments and yet I don't I don't do trees, not anymore. But I can take it when I go to my mama's and put it on her tree. Okay, I gotta put this stuff away. Hmm. That body wash smells good. I wish I had a lotion. Hawaiian gender, huh? I bet it does. Okay, sorry. Okay. All right. So in case you guys um, weren't aware, I made a video, but it, has, it doesn't have a lot of views. A lot of my views have gone down recently. Um, I don't know if it's the YouTube algorithm or what. Anytime I mention YouTube algorithm, all of a sudden, all my views start popping up again. So I'm just going to start saying it in every video. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, I have a sale going on for this Christmas season um, since I'm off school or off work. You know, tit tat, whatever. Um, and I have a little bit more free time. So I did sales on my readings $10 for video and $5 for email. So if you want to do that, just go to my website, tarotbytest.com. It's not a great website, but I made it all myself, so <laughs> it's probably going to be very obvious, by the way. Um, if you can't go to the website, then just go to my um, YouTube channel, like the homepage, the about part, and there's links. Um, for PayPal, there's links for the website, and there's also a link for booking an appointment. All right. So let's get started. I'm gonna lay down one card um, for each sign and one clarifier from my Psychic Tarot Love deck. And I might do a Decameron or a Lenormand and or a Lenormand to see what we get here. And then I'll, if I need a further clarification after the two cards, then I'll pull back from this one. All right, let's get Aries. I'm just gonna Shuffle. I'm not going to wait till something pops out because that's a good way to get 10 cards. And this reading is already long. <laughs> okay, I'm just really, really shuffling. All right, let's get a card for Aries. This is just for the holiday season. Oh, well, we got a pop for anyway. Five of Pentacles, Aries, my goodness. Jeez Louise. Okay. But I'm not going to talk about these until I do the clarifiers. What's after air? Is it Taurus? Yeah. Taurus. Better make some room. Jeez. Eight of Swords Reverse, Taurus. Alright, the next one is. Ooh. Gemini. No, no, no. I don't like that. Ace of Cups Reversed. Alright, after Gemini is Cancer. This has to be the best one because I'm Cancer. That's funny, we got two pop outs. Okay, oh. Oh no, Cancer! Another pop out. Mm, that's not good. Three of Swords. All right, um, Leo. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I've done clear five two for you guys. That's a, that's a choice card. All right, um, Virgo. Ace of Swords, not too shabby. Okay, then we have Libra. That's my moon sign. Also the sign of my ex-husband's crazy ex-girlfriend. Four of Wands reversed. Okay. Uh, next is Scorpio. Oh, you got Knight of Swords reversed. Eek, what's going on? I'm just looking at these. You know, not everybody's is so great, but I am going to clarify. After Scorpio is Sagittarius. Okay, the Fool starting anew. I mean, you guys are the freaking wanderers, so I'm not surprised when you get the Fool. Ever. Okay, Capricorn. That's my rising sign. Of course, all these astrolabe and chart reading readings I get on these websites. Can never decide if I'm Sagittarius or Capricorn. So it must be a really thin line. Capricorn. Queen of Pentacles. Of course, Capricorn. Yeah, Cap, you got a pentacle in there. Alright, then we have Aquarius. Three of Pentacles. Then it's, uh, nope. Oh, Aquarius. Is it just them Pisces? Is that it? <laughs> Let's start counting. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yep, yeah, okay, just Pisces. Last but not least, Pisces. Chariot. Well, how come you guys got my card? Huh? Okay. Okay, so my Aries guys and girls, I just meant guys in general, but 
Um, why is the Five of Pentacles here for Aries? Oh, fuck. I guess I'm just getting thrown off because there's like, yelling outside my window. Okay, so you have strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. Um, but it's just about control. I get the feeling you guys are leaving a situation uh, to either gain the upper hand or because you could not gain the upper hand. Um, there could also be issues with... Um, an exorbitant amount of lust, of course, Aries. <laughs> and so, um, because there's an excess of it, somebody could feel like they're left out in the cold, most likely you, if that's the case. Um, but it's really just a little bit more than what's necessary. And so somebody's kind of, not pouting, but um, wondering or feeling like they're not getting as much as they want. Also, Five of Pentacles and Strength makes me think that somebody just needs a little bit of kindness. Yeah, I mean, just needing some kindness, um, some compassion. Because I often forget that strength is very compassion or compassionate. But when it says control, that main word, I mean, it's the reason I use this particular deck um, because of the wording. Otherwise, I would have used a different deck with different words. Yeah, there's just somebody needs some kindness. It could be you guys, could be somebody you know. Somebody of you could just uh, be doing volunteer charity work over the holidays. Maybe because you're single and you're trying not to focus on being alone. All right. Okay, you, you guys shouldn't need any more clarification. All right, done with Aries. Moving on to Taurus. Why is the Eight of Swords reversed here for Taurus? Ooh, Three of Pentacles. So you have one very close to Aquarius. You may be dealing with an Aquarius, especially with these swords here. Taurians and Aquarians. I would never think of that. I'm not a person who likes to mix signs. I'm, I'm a, sign, a sign racist, I guess you could say. Is there such thing as a sinist? <laughs> I'm just thinking of things. It's the last day of school, you guys, and the kids were freaking nuts. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it does say reach out. So maybe you need to reach out to an Aquarian. Also, Three of Pentacles is being in the spotlight, working together. I mean, like she's able to sit here because all the hands are placed the way they are. So also thinking you're not getting where you are on your own. And I think that's just a reminder. Um, somebody who's getting out of prison may reach out to you, even though we don't have the justice card. Yeah, somebody, there's a love interest that you have that maybe things didn't work out previously, but it could now, maybe especially if it's an Aquarian. Um, they're taking note of you. They may even reach out to you. And they may want to continue this relationship. They may have cheated previously. Some people, okay, unfortunately, Torians, you guys get this a lot. I'm so sorry. Um, cheating is revealed. The person no longer is blind. And then we have three parties. So a third party could reach out to you and let you know. Or you could be the third party and you let somebody else know. Um... And you may decide to release yourself from the situation or, um, yeah. I feel like you would be the innocent party or <laughs> this is somebody acting like the innocent party because she's all like, yes, I'm very demure. I'm, I'm great. I didn't do anything. It even it even looks like she has like a kind of halo above her head. If you can see that clearly. And this is being in the spotlight. So when you're in the spotlight, things get revealed. So there's definitely, yeah, there's a revelation most likely of cheating. 
dang it, I hate bringing up cheating stuff. I do. Like, I don't like to say, oh, there's a third party. I don't like to do that. All right, let's get a Decameron for you, Torians. It's a sexual card. So if it's cheating, we'll see if it's in here. Okay, let's get a pop-out one for Torians. That would suck to find out that over the holidays. Or you're probably maybe just dealing with it. Wow. You got two to Cameron cards? Mm -hmm. Nope, three. Nope, two. <laughs> oh, look, this is one that looks terrible. This is hilarious. Okay, the first one's not hilarious. It's just the Page of Swords. So, yeah, could definitely be some information about a third party. Um, message coming through. Um, it says there's a Delilah character, so somebody is betraying somebody in some way. Um, or again, the Delilah character who's maybe betrayed, who's maybe with a partner that betrayed you, could reveal this information almost in a way to like break somebody up. And that, I mean, it's a really good plan. It works. Okay, I'll read the definition in a minute. The King of Wands. Like, oh my goodness. Seriously? Like, that doesn't even, it doesn't even look fun. It looks dumb. Like, and even his stick has balls on it. I mean, that's just freaking hilarious. I mean, it's all supposed to be phallic, but still, like, her face, like, I don't know. I would just kind of see this as catching somebody in the act. And I think she's supposed to be a bride with that veil on. Okay, let me look these up. I should have gotten something like the sexual magic tarot. It was that one was Scarbeo or Scarborough instead of the Cameron. Okay, King of Wands could be a fire sign, but King of Wands is a husband, so that's why I'm kind of wondering. Page of Swords is usually some kind of trickery. The King of Wands represents absolute power without questioning. The weakest partner must succumb. So it could be issues with control for sure, but somebody's getting out of it. Somebody tries to make it work and it doesn't, especially if there's a third party. Okay. Yeah, Page of Swords. Mm -hmm. Which is Knave of Swords here. The warrior is ready to intervene. The young woman clutches his shoulders. Pleasant surprise if the initiative is not misleading. But I feel like the initiative is misleading here. Because the truth is revealed. Okay. Well. That's Torians. Let's move on to Gemini's Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay. Three of Swords. Wow, right next to the Cancers. Which, okay, well, Gemini's may be dealing with Cancers. Um, I could also see um, job losses here or just separations. There's Brighton. Breakups going on uh, with Cancers and Geminis. The Ace of Cups is reversed, which talks about um, turmoil, the need to find love and support through other means than a romantic partner. Also, somebody may be very revolutionary in whatever it is they do or think with these swords here and it makes other people come to reality about who someone is or what they believe um they may think oh well this belief you have makes me think our relationship wasn't ever really real um for the gemini's here um it's just like completely turns everything 360 or 180 i guess depending on what you, how you want to see it and so they think somebody has a false heart. And I've been just seeing break up, break up. So I apologize, Gemini's, for this ill news. 
sorry, I just, I wanted to say, I saw her laid low in her kindred's vault. <laughs> uh, Romeo and Juliet, sorry. That's it, ill news. All right, Cancers, you got the devil. Devil and three of swords, third, three party situation? Mm, master. So you may have to master some emotional turmoil. Wow, okay. Uh, could be dealing with a Capricorn, or you could be like me and have Capricorn rising. Um, I hope that's not for me. I don't want this. Um, okay. I mean, I really see a third party situation. I hate saying that. As soon as I say I hate it, all of a sudden I have three of them in my readings. Oh, no. Yeah, three of them. Aries got off lucky. Everybody else so far is at a third party situation. It's like it all just touched each other. <laughs> um, it does have to do with the heart because we have hearts in both cards. So somebody's mastering or they're going to maybe finally master some emotional turmoil. I feel like the three of swords would have come out in reverse. Um, so I think it's still being worked on. But yeah, some of you may feel trapped by a job um, with the devil here, or love, um, a third party. But whatever it is, I think you're leaving. Because it's upright. The devil's one of those kind of cards that you really, it sticks out so much. I think I'm going to need another, another clarifier. Well, I said I would use this if I needed it. Okay. Why is the devil and three of swords here together for cancers? Oh, all these wanted to come out. I'm not doing that. Like there's a healing situation though because the devil even though he's not reversed these don't come out reverse and the advice is to master and this is like putting the the heart containing it within the ribcage this could be a lot of I mean it says turmoil but I feel like it's turmoil that has stemmed from mm, I don't know how to say this but Sometimes there just aren't words for things you need to say. Just this exorbitant amount of love and emotion. Raw, I guess you could say. Again, you know, it's wild, so that's why it has to be caged, like in this picture. It says turmoil, but I think there is some suffering that's gone from having such, um, so much emotion, but I still need another card. There's a possibility you're not breaking up, so I mean, if you're with somebody, don't worry so much. Um, I feel like you're going to get a handle on whatever it is. And just thinking of this, because we have the three of swords, I think of the, was it the tris Triskelon, Triskelion? Um, it's a BDSM symbol. I'm not sure why I'm thinking of this. Um, and then with the devil, which is very passionate, very sexual. Um, and then it does say master, just saying. <laughs> um, there could be something like that going on here. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, well, it doesn't look too good for you guys. This doesn't apply to me because I don't have any relationships. Seven of swords, three of cups reversed. Infidelity, 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 infidelity. Okay. I mean, that just screams it. But you could be getting over it, okay? Wow. Okay. I mean, if it's not an affair, it's substance abuse. So, I mean, like... <laughs> but that Seven of Swords, like, there's no, way, there's no making that good in you. 
not in reverse. I mean, not upright, sorry. Now, these emotions that you're having are very, again, they're hard to describe. So with the Seven of Swords here, I could see it as being volatile even. Or maybe perhaps you're dealing with this kind of a person. I can see them being volatile and then affectionate. But overall, I just see an emotional betrayal. Like both of those cards both say it. And then we have the Three of Swords and the Devil. So it's, there is some toxicity here. I'm not going to lie and say it's not there because anybody who knows anything about tarot cards is going to look at that and just say, uh. <laughs> but Seven of Swords Upright does say there is hope. There is confidence because, I mean, they're carrying the swords away. Like, you know. Um, but there may be some failed plans. There may be quarreling. Um, but overall, this, as advice, be cautious. I feel like you, you should make a plan B in love, for jobs, because um, there's some kind of need to prove yourself. I'm not sure. Or maybe you're trying to make somebody else prove themselves. At the same time, I feel like you're, you're leaving a burden behind. Like maybe somebody doesn't want to reunite with you say that with three of cups reversed you know yeah you've got what you need and you're gonna leave some things behind like this is for you you, you keep that it's actually being a little gracious when you think about it but you're leaving some of the burden behind so really you're taking the five of swords with you the five of swords is a betrayal it's horrible really um i hate five of swords so he's taking that with him and leaving two of swords behind and leaving two of swords that's like leaving behind um, somebody who's blind, okay? So perhaps you could be the one doing this, um, but you're leaving behind affection for this person. You're, um, it's, it's taking courage to do this, um, to kind of leave them some things behind. Um, with the devil here, and the two of swords that's kind of alluded to with them over here, but being left behind, it's some kind of a, a character flaw um, that can make you not go out, I should kind of make you go home and like with your tail between your legs. This could be the other person though, not just you. It could be vice versa. I feel like somebody had pretended it would go away, and it didn't. Somebody, yeah, because Three of Cups reversed, you know, it could be some kind of substance abuse, like wasting your life on an addiction, um, even maybe obsession, possibly. But I just feel like somebody's indulging. Um, there could also be this idea of spending money. Either way, there needs to be some kind of a balance, whatever it is you're doing. There needs to be letting go of something, especially with the Seven of Swords, letting go of those two swords. Because this Three of Cups reversed is saying expedition, like going on a journey, yeah, but it's like expediently dispatching something. So it's like going somewhere, dispatch, you know, leave. So it's leaving something and going somewhere else. All right, I need to get a Cameron card for you guys. Oh my goodness. There's something you're leaving behind. It may be bad emotions. Oh, you got two. Okay, the lovers. Yeah, I mean, that's an echo of the devil and oh, the three of swords and three of cups. There's definitely third party energy. I'm sorry. I mean, even here, the guy's watching. So there could, yeah, there really could be some kind of obsession thing going on too. But, I mean, this is almost like somebody getting caught in the act, you know? It doesn't have to be, though. It's just three of swords. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's a cat and she's holding its tail. Oh my gosh, look at her nipples. They're so, I don't know, long? I don't know, or puffy, I don't know. All right, we'll look at that in a minute. And then we have nine of cups. Oh my goodness. 
That's the wish card. What? That definitely could be overindulging, whether it's promiscuity or drinking. If it's not bad, there are some good connotations here, okay? And it's that you have tons of wild emotions, very erotic emotions, um, and it's emotionally fulfilling. The Three of Swords may just be, <laughs> like, overcome with emotion. But I just see through. And the Nine of Cups could be excess as well, so there is a need for balance. <laughs> it's most likely uh, balance for um, lust or um, substance. Um, I need another card. This is crazy. Okay. Why is... I need two for the lovers. Lovers is a choice card, so... Why is the lovers here? If they're with the lovers here, which is what I was clarifying, somebody could be looking on the internet, or maybe an affair can happen through the internet, or emails are discovered. Also, there could be, you know, a choice between two people. I mean, there's so many choice cards in here. Oh. <gasps> All I need is the Two of Cups, but that's not coming up. Uh, two of Wands with the Three of Swords also says um, there's a difficult choice to make um, in a separation. There could be quarreling, yeah, especially with the Seven of Swords here and the Two of Wands. Definitely quarreling, definitely fighting, and separation. But just on the bottom of the deck, Eight of Cups. Reversed. Either you can't leave a situation you're currently in, um, or somebody's coming back to you from the past. Because usually, Eight of Cups reversed is when you found found your Ninth Cup. When you found your Ninth Cup, you can be Eight of Cups reversed, which is saying go back now that you found what you're what you're looking for. So there's a possibility somebody may come back that you used to quarrel with, or it causes quarreling when they come back. But this is finding your ultimate happiness and coming back after you've kind of done your soul searching and found what you wanted, or they found you. They're coming back because they realize you are the Ninth Cup. This can take so many different turns. It's so crazy. I was going to ask why the Nine of Cups is here, but I guess I don't need to anymore. Okay, and then we have the Four of Pentacles. It is holding on to a relationship. So that could be why the Eight of Cups is here too for some people. It's like you've been holding on because you know you know it's right. But I think there's somebody else involved. It may not actually be like an affair. It may just be that there's three people and you're having to pick one. And one of them is actually the Ninth Cup. One is one that maybe come back from the past. And there needs to be letting go of fear, okay? I think somebody's scared to make that decision. And I'm seeing that the Four of Pentacles here is, is saying no need for that. I'm not sure why anybody would be looking on personal ads, though. Um, doesn't really say... I feel like there's an important message coming through with the Two of Wands, but it may 
shock you. It's a decision about love. Okay, well, that is the Nine of Cups here. Let's just go ahead. Because Two of Wands is a two card, so I really should be pulling two, but I'm not. Oh, okay. Ah, Knight of Wands reversed. Definitely a player. Um, it's somebody who doesn't really want to commit. And the, if they're coming back, they're not coming back quickly because they are in reverse. So it's definitely not like uh, besides five of swords, knight of wands reversed are, I just hate those. Okay. <sighs> Cancers, you guys need some help. Um, And basically, they're untrustworthy. And we do have the Seven of Swords, you know. If somebody comes back, just be very cautious. Don't let them in quickly. Normally, I would say that if Seven of Swords was reversed. Um, but just because Seven of Swords is in here with the Knight of Wands reversed, I'm just, you know, be cautious. Um, Seven of Swords with... Um, not Seven of Swords, Knight of Wands reversed with the Three of Swords it does talk about a love triangle. I mean, all these cards pretty much talk about somebody holding on to a relationship and then there's someone else. But then we have the Nine of Cups. So I'm like, it could just be somebody getting their fill, but the Eight of Cups is reversed, which is saying somebody's coming back. They could have cheated or been with somebody else and they're coming back but haven't quite let go of them just yet. Or you could be doing this. Um, actually, yeah, that speaks very loudly to me. I just got like a big, you know, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> so that was the idea is that there's somebody that you're interested in or they're interested in you, but somebody hasn't quite let go of someone else. And they're coming back because they know that you're it or you know that they're it and you're coming back. But somebody's still holding on to this other relationship. I don't know if, not like a like a side chick or like a whatever. I don't see a, I mean, yeah, he can, he can kind of be a fuck boy, so do be careful. Um, I mean, he is one. But I get the feeling that there's, like I was saying earlier, yeah, the Knight of Wands reversed is here. I don't like it. But that's just, it's a little bit more of a commitment phobic person. But there's a love triangle for sure with the, this here. And then the Seven of Swords. I mean, usually Seven of Swords would have to be reversed, and it's not. And that would talk about being misled. So I don't think, I don't think the person is going to lie. Okay? Even though there's treachery and trickery. Seven of Swords is upright, and that says communicating honestly. So the person's going to let you know. It may, they may not let you know for a while, because the Four of Pentacles is here. Or, you know, you may not, okay? There may be some kind of a secret, you know, being held on to with the devil here. Now, if we had just a minor romance card, like, uh, I'm trying to think. But if we had one, I would say this is a brief fling, but you have the lovers, okay? So, this is not a brief fling. Now, it's hinted at that there is a third party. Um, they may be trying to, like, they may have broken up, and then they're going to go back for a quick fling. Like, Knight of Wands reversed is like a one-night stand. Okay, so that's why I'm saying be careful, but this could also be the energy that they're doing with somebody they recently broke up with or somebody they're still with, or they may have a one night stand with you and they're still connected. And so it's going to be a while before they let go of them and possibly be with you. So you know, yeah, you have nine of cups and eight of cups reversed. That tells me that you are going to get what you want. And it's most likely somebody coming back from you. I mean, coming back for you. And they're just having a hard time letting go for whatever reason. Could be a fire sign. All right. You got to need some love advice because that just confused the hell out of me. Uh, 
it took me a second. I still got eight more zodiacs to go. Okay. Passion. I told you all these wild emotions. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. All right. What's up with all of these cheater three, third party cards, huh? What's up with that? Somebody thinks they don't deserve love. They think they're not lovable. And so they may compensate for this complex that they have with multiple people or they're not afraid I mean they're not sure and so they're afraid of your feelings they're not sure if you feel the same about them as they do about you you know vice versa that's why this is going on they're keeping somebody there in case in case you don't return the feelings Oop. Oop. the honeymoon is over for somebody Alright, bottom of the deck, true love, romance of a lifetime. Alright, Cancer's moving on to Leo's. Leo's, you have the two of pentacles. You need two cards. Somewhere, get there, there. What is it that Leo's are trying to make a, ooh, dang, okay. Eight of cups and two of cups. Oh, emotional withdrawal. Okay, moving on and then coming together. So you're moving on from somebody and coming together with someone else. Are you guys dealing with a cancer? Because <laughs> they got Eight of Cups in reverse. Um, I had a feeling that Eight of Cups is going to come out somewhere near cancer. I just didn't expect it to be that close. Um, yeah, you're having to move on from somebody else or the past, being that it's on the left side, and come together with someone else. And we have two two cards. Um, you're going to be able to keep this going. Also, I could see an on and off again romance. So moving on, coming together, moving on, coming together. Mm -hmm. um, some of you may live a distance apart. But I feel like with the two of cups, I feel like it's going to be a new romance. And the Eight of Cups right next to it tells me, you're seeking a soulmate, Leo. Like, you're not messing around. You're like, I want the real fucking deal. Mm-hmm. Right, let's get you a decanter card. Oop. You may get two. Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. So you have the moon, which is like a surprise, like somebody, like you're having to hide. And then... King of Swords. Let's see. It's definitely a decision that has to be made. You're trying to decide if you want to leave or come together with somebody. Okay, I can see that. I feel like there may be another party involved too, just because of the moon that's there. Normally the moon, I don't see that here, but when I read this to you, you'll understand. Okay, the moon. The unexpected ruins plans. Perhaps the undertaking was superficially and inconsiderately designed. Risk of being blown out of proportion. So, but it looks like, you know, somebody's being caught. You know, but something being blown out of proportion, something being surprising. And then we have the king of swords. He's very balanced. And so has the Two of Pentacles, so. In spite of the weight of years, don't refuse twilight intimacy. Twilight right next to the moon? You're freaking kidding me. <laughs> like, how would you even describe twilight intimacy? Just being intimate at night? I mean, I don't That's just a weird way to phrase that. Especially for the King of Swords. He does kind of refuse intimacy, though. Okay. Um, spiritual values do not decline over time. On the contrary, they increase. The moon can do with spirituality. Um, but 
with the Eight of Cups there is seeking a soulmate, seeking real spiritual soulmates. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, Leo, I'm gonna move on from you. Now we have Virgo with the Ace of Swords upright. Why is the Ace of Swords here for Virgo for this holiday season? The Magician. Wow, you guys are making stuff happen. Not only are you going to make it happen, you have to make it happen. Okay, because that's what the Ace of Swords is. It's like have to, must. Um, and with the Magician, you are able to. You could be kind of like forcing your beliefs on somebody, so be careful of that because people don't like that. <laughs> but you've made a final decision. If it was Two of Swords, I would say indecisive. But with the One Sword plus... The magician, you have made it. It's all good news, though. Um, but, again, with your opinion, you love to debate. Okay, here. This this card, the Ace of Swords, says you and this other person, especially a lover, like to debate. But be careful. Because you could shove your beliefs on somebody. Um, if you just have a love interest, then they have a crush on you. They kind of find you as it. Um... Either you or this other person is controlling with the magician here, but not in a bad way, just in a, a fun way. Somebody is completely sure of their feelings. They are infatuated. They feel like you can do whatever it is you want, and you can, or vice versa. Okay, this may be your feelings. I'm just talking about this as you. I could even see love at first sight here, guys. And it's like serendipitous, okay? Um... And it may even help you move on from something you've already been through that wasn't so great. But I just kind of see here with the Ace of Swords and the Magician, I keep seeing like you make your own winning. You know, like hashtag winning. <laughs> I kind of see that here. So uh, you guys totally suck, by the way, because you suck. All right, let's move on to Libra. Libra, dears, you have four of wands in reverse. That ain't good. Why are y'all doing that? Are y'all not grateful for something? Y'all being greedy? Oh, my goodness. Wow. You fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Four of wands reverse, clarifying four of wands. And these are upright, so it came out in reverse. You fucking kidding me? Okay, you guys must need to hear from the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck from the heart. Because there's little... Oh, actually, no, the Minor Arcana don't have oracles. Damn it, damn. Let's see what we can get, though. There's the cups. Swords. Where's the wands? Damn it. can't believe it. Joy and stability in reverse. Twice. Man, Libras. Y'all just... Okay. Oh, I can't read you the nice version because it's upright. And this is the reverse. Okay, so you guys aren't attracting things towards you. If you are attracting things towards you, it's negative things. And it usually is a, as a result of having negativity, like dwelling on negativity. Some of you aren't conversing with other people. Or you don't have an open heart towards some people. Your advice would be to share your thoughts, be a good listener. And that would bring more stability and warmth to your relationship. It also helps you attract people who are like-minded. Okay. Let's get you a Lenormand. Why is the four of wands reversed here twice? I mean, you can't fucking... Make that shit up. I mean, four of wands twice reversed. I mean, oh. But Libras, that's definitely for you guys. I'm just saying. Okay. Birch Rod. Oh, no, you're going through some bad times. Mm -hmm. Birch Rod. It's like sadness. Okay. Birch Rod brings strife to what should be bliss. Mm-hmm. You guys are going through a rocky marriage or relationship or job. To husband and wife, all has gone amiss. Prepare for sorrows that dampen the day. Begotten of quarrels that bring much dismay. I 
Chihuahua. So sorry, Libras. I'm going to read the definition for you, and then i got to move on because this is very super clear cut. Right, there's no way they could get clearer. This card signifies disharmony. Yeah, duh. And conflict in personal life. Uh, signifies quarrels, domestic trouble, stormy friendship, unhappy romance, and failing marriage. Uh, but Four of Wands to me is also a job contract or a house contract. Some of you may just may have lost a house. Okay, something of that nature. All right. Sorry, Libras. All right, Scorpios. You got the Knight of Swords reversed. Who's the wolf in sheep's clothing? Is it you guys? Are you guys being vindictive? Y'all know y'all got that. Don't do it. All right, let's see. Why is the Knight of Swords reverse? Uh-uh. No, I'm not doing that. Stop it. It's like, no. We're going to start this shit over. <laughs> Scorpio, you're already, you're already causing trouble. All right, let's see here. My Knight of Swords reverse. Um... If you have a speech impediment, Scorps, this is definitely for you. Or if you're dealing with somebody with a speech impediment. Four of Swords. Just breathe. So you guys may have been really hauling ass lately for whatever reason. Okay, but you've decided to slow down. Just breathe. Um, I also see blocked communication. I mean, this could be with somebody else or with you. It, there's just so much chaos you got out of it. Now you just need to rest so you can pick it up again later. Okay. I'm going to clear out the other deck. That's what I said I would do. Okay. Why is the Four of Swords here with the Knight of Swords reversed? I do feel like there's a lot of fighting that's been going on, a lot of quarreling. It could be that thin love, thin line between love and hate going on. Mm -hmm. Even more so if you have a speech impediment, or you know somebody who does, or you're with an air sign. There's definitely blocked communication. And you're just trying to find some peace and quiet. I do see exhaustion. I think you guys just tuckered yourself out. <laughs> oh, like a little baby, tucker yourself out. You need a nap. <laughs> like, quite literally, you need a nap. <laughs> Scorps, take a nap. Um, also, if you were in some kind of a wreck, you may just kind of be laid up in the bed. Ooh, dang. Temperance reversed and the hangman. Okay, so some of you guys may have gotten out of a uh, a relationship with a fire sign, most likely Sagittarius, or an air sign. Um, possibly a Pisces with the hangman here. It could have come as a surprise. Um, now, with the four of swords and the hangman, they both say you're observing. So it could be watching somebody, stalkers. And <laughs> um, you're just kind of seeing what other people don't see. Um, and so you're not willing to take a chance on something. Not yet. You're going to take a pause. You're not going to take a step right now. Somebody is not very forgiving, especially if somebody came in disguise. But just observing. Um... Somebody's just waiting, waiting for an opportunity. Like, there's a need to, like, if you didn't have forgiveness or 
If somebody was waiting around for forgiveness due to somebody having been deceptive, this is not forgiving, and then this is forgiveness. This may be a choice you're having to make. You may very well be meditating on this, okay? Um, but man, you guys are like, mm, like, just, you're ready to stick it to somebody, and not in a fun way. <laughs> Um, and so you're just having to like, take a breath, Scorpio, take a breath. <laughs> Cause you're like, I don't want to end up in jail. Um, some of you could be overindulging a little bit. So you don't want to end up in rehab unless like you really need it. Um, mm -hmm. but again, you could be dealing with an air sign, maybe a Pisces or a Sagittarius or a fire sign in general. Um, sorry, I had crumbs in my cleavage. <laughs> I had some bread um, before I started these readings. Okay, um, man, some of you may not even want to make it work. Like, you've been thinking about it, and you're like, no. I almost see, like, the Three of Pentacles reversed for you guys. But, uh, Four of Swords says, you know, healing and coming together. But... If you do come together with somebody, you you were really thinking about not doing it. But with the hangman coming out last, I think you actually will. Now, some people you may not, and then there may be a completely different person that you do decide to go make it work with. Apparently, you're just fighting with everybody. Like Scorpios, like what's going on with how you communicate with people? Um, but then again, like Four of Swords could be like a hospital bed. So if you did kind of get into an accident, um, being hung up, like not having a way to go anywhere. You could just be laid up in the bed for some reason. That sucks. Because um, I would think of temperance and four of swords as healing, recovering, hospital. We have one healing card and one not healing card. This could just be like a metaphorical healing, like of wounds um, that you can't see. However, I feel like some of you, it, it really is literal. Um, and with the lovers over here in Cancer, I was feeling like there's a relationship that's going to heal you. That maybe before it brought you in balance, but this now it's going to heal you. Or a current or previous relationship that you're no longer in or you're breaking up with, that you've been quarreling with. Um, is ending and it's you know, really gotcha. Like, I don't even want to get out of the bed. I'm, like, kind of depressed. But maybe you know a cancer or a cancer rising, you know, something like that with the lovers here. And they may be the one that brings about some healing. Um, or it could be the same person, you know, again, struggling with healing, forgiving, not forgiving. Okay, let's pull cool. an advice card for you guys. Because y'all just, you and Cancer and Leo, y'all just, y'all trying to confuse me. That's, that's not right. Okay, let's get a love advice for you guys. Because this is about love for the majority. I mean, I just feel like if you have, like if you're arguing previously with the temperance reversed, you guys weren't very clear. You weren't clearly expressing yourselves. Um, but I'm seeing this argument is actually really needed. You have to clear the air with somebody. So I'm seeing the need for stubbornness. Scorpios <laughs> needs to be replaced with tolerance. It hasn't happened yet, but it needs to happen. And I think it will with uh, the hangman there. You're just kind of like, almost like passively accepting fate. Like no, realizing there is a divine call. There is a faith that's coming with this relationship. And it may just be a sacrifice. Okay, but if, I do see peace. Like with the four of swords and the hangman, definitely peace. And you may, with the temperance reverse, it may just say you don't have to try a whole bunch of times. It may be just the first time, okay? But you are going to have to be patient. I don't think that's necessarily anybody's best trait, but... 
We'll see. Or you'll see, I guess. Also, you may have had a change of heart. Yeah. Whether that's good or bad. Some of you are just going to try to like stay out of something, avoid a battle, and let them work it out themselves or destroy themselves. You're like, I don't even need to sting you. You're going to destroy yourself. <laughs> well, those Scorpios, you would destroy them a lot quicker if you stung them. I'm just saying. Not that you should. But. Ooh, reconciliation in reverse. No. You always want to reconcile. Just kidding. Scorps never want to reconcile. They're, oh, did I pull these in reverse? Well, it didn't matter because they're all either one. All right, so Scorpios are not reconciling. At least not around the holidays. Maybe because they're fighting. Like, I'm not talking to you. We're fighting. <laughs> they're chilling out. Yeah, and we do have cut off and blocked expression, so. Ooh, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Scorps. All right, let's see on the bottom. We had this earlier. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world, but it's in reverse. So eventually you're, you are going to come out of this retreat. Um, uh, I get the feeling that there's signs telling you to come out of like isolation, come out of retreat for a reconciliation or to make maybe make somebody else come out of a retreat. Maybe you put them in. Um, and I think you're set against this, but we have the retreat in reverse. Okay, you guys, let's get you, oh, that's right, you guys want the sexy cards, that's what it is. Y'all are making me pull cards, that'll suck. All right, this is the Cameron, so okay. Let's just get one card for Scorpio, I don't even know what I want to clarify. Okay, two, whatever, three, four hundred million, oh my goodness. Okay, four of pentacles, yeah, you guys are holding on. Let's see, who else got that, was it Leo or Cancer? Cancer. Well, well, yeah. I'll read what it's about. Four of Pentacles. Holding on to a relationship or holding on to something, but also um, not being very forthcoming. There is blocked communication, and the block could just be not expressing. So somebody can't say how they feel for whatever reason. Maybe they're fighting with somebody. Okay, then you have Ace of Pentacles, which is the right path. It's a brand new start. It's also an offer. That's a weird card. I'm sorry. Okay, then you have Seven of Pentacles reversed. You may decide not to invest. Ooh, no, Scorpios, no. The King of Cups reversed. Definitely blocking your own emotions. I was going to say he's like a promiscuous fuck, but I'm not that's not the case here. <laughs> That's all I say, no, no. Now, this is you guys denying your feelings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was saying that earlier. Yeah, you're denying your feelings. You're not letting them out. You're not expressing yourself. That's the King of Cups reversed in a nice way. Um, you guys are going through a lot of emotions. You've been trying to find some peace. And it could be because you guys have that love-hate thing going on for some reason. With the Knight of Swords reversed here. Okay, let me look at the meetings. Well, that makes a little bit more sense now. I'm glad I pulled you guys the, the sexy cards. Um, let's see. Four of Pentacles. Greed. Intense and lustful life. Selfishness. Okay. So there is some lust going on there. You guys could be being promiscuous fucks. Don't do that. All right, let's see. Seven of Pentacles. Luck in business and love, especially for women. A bored man. Okay. So you guys could be bored and strained. Gosh. My goodness. This, I 
not very scorpion. All right. Ace of Pentacles. Love is indifferent to commercialization, but the fact that wealth and material goods sometimes encourage affection and gratitude towards the donor cannot be excluded. But Ace of Pentacles is a very pure love. It's also ecstasy, um, quick love, um, I mean quick news, sorry. But I me, mean, yes, you know, offering, if you have money or some kind of a wealth or something like a, something to offer somebody, doesn't necessarily be like a dowry or anything. Um, yeah, it's not going to hurt. But this is pure love that's in here because it's the ace. Um, some of you are just not getting what you need emotionally and or sexually. Or you may only be getting sexually and not emotionally. Because we do have a lot of these left out, cold, or being blocked. And King of Cups reversed is emotional and sexual repression, either or or both. But it's also a prolonged state of denial about your real needs and your real desires or your real motives. It also could be saying very emotional and trying to cut that down. Also running from your true self or running from your problems. And also I see depression and addiction. Just emotional imbalance as well. Alright, let's see what King of Cups reversed is in here. Well, King of Cups, they don't have reversed. The force of seduction is accompanied by refined technique, a very satisfying relationship. So it's like you don't have it. Somebody's not getting their needs met. Okay. I'm moving on from Scorps. Um, next we have Sagittarius, the Fool. You guys are having a new start. You're wondering. Of course. All right, so why is the Fool? All right. Ooh, yep. Five of Cups. Disappointment and love. You're moving away from a disappointment and love. You're not, you don't even want to deal with it anymore. Um, also, saying if you go blindly somewhere, it could end up in disappointment. It says change your focus, and I think you are. This is a very optimistic kind of a card. Um, you're just looking into the future. You're being very optimistic about it. I like this card for you guys. Some of you are abandoning love due to some disappointments. And you're going to kind of transform into a new, like, carefree, childlike way of thinking. You're going to start trusting in other kinds of relationships. Um, maybe overcoming some fears. I feel like some of you are going to be non-committal. You may even travel for whatever. I mean, obviously around the holidays you will, but I feel like when you travel... You may be single, maybe you weren't, okay? Whether it's through marriage or relationship. You may travel over the holidays as a way to kind of get over disappointment, to kind of change your focus a little bit. You're like, man, I need to like retrain my brain. Let me go visit family or let me go to the Bahamas or whatever, okay? Okay, so this is about disappointment and love. Let's get you a card. Sagittarius, I need a love oracle deck card. yourself in reverse so I guess the fool is really like advice for you because you do need to free yourself but you haven't yet so you're going to free yourself or travel to help free yourself from this disappointment in love all right gotta move on sad just queen of pentacles for capricorn all right so this is probably you as the pentacles here why is the queen of pentacles here This 
This could also represent a long-term relationship, not just a person. Ooh, Ace of Swords. Um... Virgo's got this, so you could be dealing with Virgos. Sorry, it just took me a minute to re realize who was where. Clarity of belief. And you're really going to cherish this belief that you have. Um, but I feel like there is good news about a long-term relationship. I mean, that's basically what it says. You may get some kind of information quickly about this. And it's like a, an idea of, of fate. Mm. this is a good person too and if you have some kind of a new belief system or just a belief in general it could be about freedom um, and I see lots of intelligence here lots of stimulation um, intellectually very shrewd um, Yeah, this is, this is good. Okay, let's get you a love card since it's obvious about love. Okay. Capricorns need a love angel oracle deck card. Romance. retreat and reverse which so did squirts um, so you're not going to back down like this is something you have to have so you could just be deciding like, some of you are just sticking to your principles you're like I am not settling I have to have a long-term relationship or you know the queen of pentacles is somebody who assesses to make sure that somebody um, earns their loyalty or earns them by being loyal um, to win their heart, they go through that test. They're saying, I have to have loyalty. I have to put this person to the test, even though I kind of want to let them, you know, bypass it. But maybe you made a, a pact with yourself. Separation in reverse. Yeah. So you're not retreating. You're not separating. This is a long-term relationship. You may not be letting somebody go. <laughs> you're like, no. You are staying. I am sure of my feelings. They're mutual. Okay, it is good news. Um, and you guys are going to agree. You're going to, like, set up the boundaries and, like, look, you can't leave me. We have to be together. <laughs> Not in a bad way. It could even be love at first sight. Um, but a lot of infatuation. But it's still grounded. I think you may be the blunt one in this relationship, though. But no separation, no um, retreat. All right, moving on from Capricorns to Aquarius. You have three of Pentacles, Aquarius. Let's see, why is the three of Pentacles here? Ooh, seven of Pentacles popped out for you. So you're really waiting for something to work out. I think you're waiting for people to see you. Some of you could be waiting on some kind of an result of an observation where somebody's looking over at your stuff or looking at your plans, looking at something you've done or made. Three of Pentacles is a fruitful union. And then we have seven of Pentacles, which is gestation. And you can see that this tree has grown it's even grown fruit. There's two trees and two flowers in his hand, or her hand. Yeah, it's a woman. But usually this says planning and waiting. This says await awaiting results. So I need more clarification. Why is the seven of pentacles here? Now you know seven and three make ten of pentacles, so you could be just trying to, some of you could be getting married and you're waiting. Okay, 
Oh my goodness. Let's see what's over here. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do it without showing my face. I don't know if that's going to be possible. <sighs> okay. Six of Swords reversed. Yeah, you're definitely waiting. Some of you could be getting neurotic in the interim. <laughs> I think you may be a little tired of waiting. Um, uh. Well, I'm just going to do the... Yep, we have the lovers. Oh, we have Ten of Pentacles reversed. This made up Ten of Pentacles. Now it's reversed. So you were waiting for this to happen. You were hanging on, but it didn't happen. It's definitely about a love relationship or a marriage. Some of you are maybe waiting to get proposed to, but I don't think it's happening. Or you're getting married and left at the altar. Oh, dang. Um, and you're just holding on to it, too. And we also have the Eight of Cups. So you are leaving or somebody else is leaving. So if it's not you, check with a partner. I see the dissolution of a relationship, most likely because of a third party. The Seven of Pentacles is in here. It's throwing me off a little bit. I um, I just think that there's lots of hope here with the Seven of Pentacles, but it's like it still doesn't work out. Um, Seven of Pentacles is unrequited love, so I can see that. Somebody really wants something to work out, but it's not returned. And with the Six of Swords reversed, it's saying, like, you have to get away and get some perspective because you're kind of being neurotic thinking about this. Also, you may communicate with this person to get some healing so you can move on. Um, but it might be a little painful to hear what they have to say. But Six of Swords reversed says, this love interest isn't thinking about you. Um, and like, you just don't have any peace about it. And you're going to have to work really hard to overcome this difficulty. But it's temporary. Just keep, keep going. Alright. Yeah, we got the Wheel of Fortune reversed on the bottom. So things just aren't going your way. So Eight of Cups was in Cancers, but it was reversed. It was also in Leo, so you could be dealing with a Leo. You could also be dealing with a Gemini. The Lovers was also, also with Cancer, so you have two of the cards that Cancer had. And then Scorpios had seven of pentacles in the reverse. So it could be that you were invested and the Scorpio wasn't. And that's why it's not working out. Or perhaps, I did say Scorpios could be with an air sign. It could be Aquarians. Scorps and Aquarians, it's just not going to work out with you guys. Yeah, because we do have Scorpio here um, alluded to, but it's in reverse. So you're more likely dealing with a Scorpio than you are with a Cancer, even though they have more cards than the Scorpio does. All right, and the last card, which is the Cancer card, is for um, Pisces. So Pisces, you may be dealing with a Cancer. Okay, let's see why the Chariot is here. Pisces, you may need to balance your emotions. That's just the main thing I get from the Chariot right off the bat. Okay, oh. You got two cards, which is something to balance, right? A well-deserved reward, nine of pentacles, and challenging times. So whether or not to be single or date. So I got my single card and my dating card. Or if you want to be single or make something work. Maybe possibly with a Cancer or with anybody, okay? Because Cancer, the chariot card, is moving forward too. Um, hmm. So five of wands. 
Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> hmm. There's some kind of a goal you'll be reaching, though. And you may have just had to work hard to get it. You had to really uh, restrain yourself with the Knight of Pentacles here. Um, you didn't have to, you, could, you weren't really, really all out fighting. It was almost like play fighting because you had to moderate whatever it is you needed to do. Most likely when it comes to dating. I need one more card from the Rider Waite. Why are these cards here for Pisces? I feel like you guys are putting in a lot of effort. Some of you may be putting in an effort um, and exercise. The moon, there's your card. Wow. Okay. So you're the only card that got their signs card. Wow. Or you're the only sign that got their card. Sorry. Okay. So. Um, hmm. like creative ideas, creative projects with the Vire of Wands. And Nine of Pentacles is really being recognized as like a well-deserved reward. But if you're having conflicts with people over a creative idea, there's a need for moderation. Because the Chariot and the Moon talk about creative journey. And then the Five of Wands is usually like throwing ideas back and forth. Um, not really seeing eye to eye with other people, but trying to work with them. I'm seeing really with the moon here, just needing more faith that you can work this out. I also feel like you do need to be more independent. I feel like there could be some codependency issues here. Um, if there's a secret love... I feel like it's just going to cause problems. So I wouldn't do anything in secret. But you guys are really wanting to go in deep when it comes to um, a relationship. And I feel like there does need to be moderation, especially if you're dealing with a cancer. You may want to hold off on those emotions a little bit. But you're doing this to try to get back some kind of inner happiness or ecstasy. I feel like you just need to be more flexible because um, you have a lot of intense emotions, Pisces. Let's get you a love card. Okay, Pisces needs a love romance oracle deck. getting to know someone. I do feel like there needs to be a lot of restraint here. So you may be going too deep, too intimate, too fast. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I don't feel like you're actually getting there. Um, I feel like you're all ready to jump in. Um, this chariot person, most likely a cancer, is not ready. Okay. You need a, the Cameron deck. I need a card for Pisces. No. Uh -uh. Nope. Not doing it. Okay. You got two that, nope. One that turned over and one that fell out. Okay. Six of Swords. So you guys are trying to move on from something, but I'll read the deck. 
and then four of cups reversed. Okay. Let me read that. I think you guys are afraid of being alone. But somebody's checking out. Somebody's leaving. Some of you are going to have to break up and make room for something else, but you have to go find it. I also think if you're depressed or somebody else's depression could be affecting a relationship. Okay, six of swords. The enemy becomes harmless, surprise towards new situations. So I do think, not necessarily there's a surprise, I don't see a surprise, but I do see going towards a new situation. With four of cups, it says intruder, distrust, poor self-esteem. Okay. There could be some self-esteem issues going on here. Um, You could be dealing with a Cancer, because Four of Cups reversed says Krabby, and Four of Cups is a Cancer card. And with the Six of Swords here, I feel like you're going to go into new territory. Um, again, I'm seeing like some kind of creative journey, like a real boat or a real journey. So you guys may be going on a boat somehow with the Six of Swords and the Chariot. Because Chariot and the Moon together is a boat creative journey so now we have a six of swords with a boat <laughs> um it talks about journey by water right so that's why i'm seeing that um now i do feel like there is somebody who's not as interested in you as you are in them and with the six of swords here it just clarifies it they this person does like you okay but they're just not really sure about you. And so they're not going to actually go forward with you until they are 100% sure. Okay? If they're 98% sure, they're not coming after you. If they're 100%, then yes, they're coming. But they think about you, they like you, they're just not really sure. And they're really just trying to figure out if you guys would even work. They also may be going through some kind of a healing before they can do anything. Yeah, that's really all I'm saying about that, Pisces. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed your reading and good luck for this holiday season. Be happy.